What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're drawing the complete form of Zygarde from Pokemon. Let's get started in the top center of our page with the collar. Starting right in the middle, start with a straight line coming down. Now going back up to the top, we're just going to angle this down and out towards the side. Let's pull the collar going up and out towards the side with a straight angled line. And then from the top, we're just going to pull this back down and in. And we'll pull this down towards that center point. Now let's add those spikes along the side of the head. On the left side, we're going to step out, angle up and out, go over towards the right, and do the same thing. And then from the top, Angle down and out. I'm just going to taper that back in towards the bottom so it gets a little bit narrower. Let's add another spike from the outside. Angle up and out. And we'll angle that back down and in. And now we're going to add in the mouth. From that center point, draw a straight line going up angle up and out toward the left and right, come down and out towards the side. Let's pull that back up and out in behind those spikes. Let's go back to that center point, draw a straight line coming down, angle is down and in, now we go back up to the top, angle down and out. Now we're going to layer the eyes on top, starting from these two top points, angle up and out, and draw a straight angle line going out towards the side. Let's add that symbol in the center of the forehead, starting right in between the eyes, start with a point, go up and out towards the left and right, go out with an angle line, and then go straight up along the side. Now we take that bottom point and flip it up along the top. Just pulling this in, and then going up towards the center point. Now we're going to move out to the side, draw a straight angled line coming up and in. Draw two straight lines going up. I'm just going to pull that up and in towards the center, towards the point. Let's add a gem along the top. Starting in the middle, angle down and out. Come down the side. And then pull that back down and in towards the middle. Let's wrap these spikes around the side of the head. Starting from the outside point, angle down and in. And then from the same point, angle up and out. And we'll just pull that back down and in on top of the head. Now that we complete the head, let's move down and draw on the upper body. Starting from the bottom corner of the shoulders, angle down and out in a straight line. And then we'll round out the side of the body. Starting back on the left, curl this out and back in. Let's connect the bottom with a curve. Coming down the middle, and we'll bend that back up. Now let's add some detail inside the body. Starting along the bottom, right in the middle, start with point. From here we're going to angle up and out toward the left and right. Come down and out along the side. Angle this up and out. Now we want to trace this out along the bottom. Starting from the tip, I'm just going to taper this in. And we'll leave an even space gap all the way in towards the center. Let's leave a gap in the center of the body. Go to the left side, draw a straight line coming down, and then we'll line this up on the right. From the top, angle up and out. Go straight up with a short line, angle back up and out. Let's slope down the side, angling down and out. 
and follow that same angle going up and out towards the top. Let's come down and out along the side and then come straight down towards the bottom. Let's go back to the inside, draw a short line going out and go back up and out and go down and out. And then from the outside, come down and in with a short line. Come straight down. Now we connect the outside to the inside with a straight angled line. Now let's move in, draw two straight lines coming down towards the hip. One on the left, and one on the right. And then from here we're going to add a crease, coming in and then down with a short line. Let's go in between, step all the way down, draw a straight line going across. Now we're going to draw the inside edge of the legs, starting on the left side, curl the leg coming down and out, do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to add those plates on top of the knee, starting back on the left, go straight up, just mirror this over on the right, and go up and out, and go down and out. Now let's pull this back down, just lining this up with the inside. And then from here, angle down and out towards the side of the leg. Now we're going to connect these two points coming down towards the center point. Come down and in. And then from the inside of the leg, angle back down and in. Let's come down along the side with a straight line. And we'll draw that same length line in the center. Now we're gonna pull these in towards the center point. One on the left, and then one on the inside. Now we're going to go back up to the hips and round out the side of the leg. Starting from the left hip, I'm just going to curl this out and just bend that down to right about there. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to add a spike along the side of the leg. From this point, we'll step in, curl this out, up, and then hook that in. And I'll curve this down and in behind the side of the thigh. Now we're going to draw the lower half of the leg, starting from the inside, curl this in and then down towards the heel, and we'll flatten off the bottom of the feet. Starting on the left, draw a straight line going all the way out, and then we'll angle the side of the foot going up along the side. Let's flatten off the outside of the foot, going straight up. Let's go back to that bottom point, draw a straight line going up, just lining this up with that outside line. Step in, just line that up again. And we'll pull these up in towards the center point, starting with the outside going up, pulling that down, and the same thing along the inside. And then from the top point, draw two short lines going up. And I'll pull these back up toward the top center point. Let's go to the bottom point of the knee, draw a straight angle line coming down in on top of the foot. Let's go back and add that detail in the center of the body. Starting from the side, draw two straight lines coming down. Angle down and in, and then come straight down. Let's add another section. Coming down and out, come straight down, come down and in, and then come straight down. And then we'll add in the end piece. Coming down and out, come straight down, come down and in, 
I'm just going to pull that up and in towards the center. We're also going to add two ovals on either side. All the way down and then back up. Line this up on the right. Now we're going to move back up and draw on the arms. Let's start with the arm socket. From the bottom of the body, we're going to step up, curve the arm going out, and then up. Line this up on the right. And do the same thing. And then from the inside, step out, curve the arm going out, and then down towards the elbow. Now we're going to blend the forearms in towards the claw. Let's start back on the left, come straight down, and then bend that out. We're going the opposite direction on the right side. Let's add the tip of the claw. Starting back on the left, and go up and out. And go down and out. I'm going to be adding three claws on either side. Going up and then back out towards the side of the arm. Let's round out the side of the forearm coming back in towards the elbow. Starting on the left, go up and then just bend that in. I'm going to go back and round out the top of the shoulder. From the top corner of the body, step down, round this out, and then come down. And we'll tuck the outside of the arm in behind the shoulder. We go up, and bend that in. Now I'm going to go back and separate the edge of the hand. From these two points, angle up and in. and it'll connect the center point from the ends and go up and in towards the middle. Let's go to the outside, angle out, and pull that down towards the outside of the forearm. Now we're gonna draw in the claws. From that center point, I'm just gonna draw two straight angle lines to separating out in the center. From the outside, angle down and in, and we'll do the same thing on the right. And we'll pull the claws in toward the center point. Let's add one more claw tucked in along the side. Start from the side of the forearm. Angle down and in. Angle that back up and in. Now that we complete the body, let's tuck the wings in behind. Starting from the base of the collar, curl this out and then up on the left. Go to the right side and do the same thing. Going out and up towards the same height. And we'll draw the inside edge of the wing. Starting back on the left, come down Bend this out. I'm just going to curve that back in around the hand, so right about there. Now we're going to add three points along the bottom of the wing. Starting on the left, angle down and out, angle up and out. Let's add another point. Coming down, and then up. And we'll do that one more time. Now from the outside, we're gonna follow that same curve coming back up towards the top. Start by going up, bending that in, rounding this out, and then pulling that up towards the same height. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going up, in and then bending that up towards the top. Let's pull the wing up towards the center point, starting with the outside and come down and in. Now let's draw the bottom edge of the wing. Starting from this point, we're just going to follow this all the way towards the inside and then draw that same curve, coming down and then back in towards the body.
Let's add the second set of wings in behind. Starting from this point, we'll step down and go up and out with a short line. And go down and out towards the side. And then from the outside, go straight down and then bend that out in behind the front wing. Now we're going to pull that back wing in towards the inside. Let's start on the left, curve down, and then in towards the hand. And then we'll add some points. Come down and out. Go up and out. And back down in behind. Now before we add any detail, let's draw on the tail. Starting from the inside edge of the right leg, it's going to curve the tail coming down and out in behind the left foot, step over, curve out, and then up. And it'll add three points along the edge of the tail. Going straight up, coming in, add the second point, and we'll add one more. And we'll curve the tail back in towards the side of the leg, coming down, and then in. Now we're going to move back out and add some detail. From the center of the wing, we're going to step up, start with a point, and go up and out toward the left and right. Go straight up along the side, pull that back up and in towards the middle. Let's do the same thing on the right. And then from that center point, we'll step up, start with another point. And go up and out. I'm just going to angle this up and in. Go up and out towards the side. And pull that down and out towards the side of the wing. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Now we want to duplicate that same shape along the top. So let's start right in the middle, the point. And we're following the same curve of the wing. Just angling this up and in. Going out towards the side. And then down. Now we're going to line this up on the right side. Starting right here. Let's add a little bit more detail on the top of the wing. From that center point, we'll step out, and go down and out, go down and in towards the center. From that center point, we'll step down, and go back down and out, come down with two straight angle lines, and then pull that back in. Let's go to the bottom of the tail, right in the middle, start with a point, angle these out, and down along the side of the tail, and then pull that back in towards the middle. Let's add one more trim along the top of the tail, starting up here, angle down, go up, and then back down, and that's pretty much it, there's Zygarde from Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson, make sure you subscribe, and check out our Pokemon playlist, we're adding new characters every week, Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.